Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tosh. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, y'all, we're about to get into some stuff. But the main reason for this video is the palette that you beautiful women voted on. And this is the Revolution Forever Flawless Chilled with Cannabis Satavia palette. So we are going to dive right into this guy. I cannot wait. I do have a couple of new products in here as well to try out. Highlighter blush. Um... Let's see. I don't know if we'll make it to this Glitter Profusion palette. This is what they dropped on their 20th anniversary, and I've just had it sitting. I have several palettes just sitting, but that's what it looks like. There's actually glitters in this palette, and I don't even know if I'm going to play with those today. Also, may, I might want to try out this Revolution Pro Lipstick or this Wet n Wild High Shine Liquid Black one, and this one is super cool, you guys. It has, gl not glitter, but it's like metallic. A metallic black and then I've had this femme couture rose all day foundation infused with rose water sitting here along with the matching concealer and I picked all this stuff up a while ago I still have not tried it out so we're gonna go ahead and get into some stuff today so starting out let's go in with the eyeshadow palette let me get this out of my way how y'all doing how you been hope you guys are excited for this palette as I am so here we go these are $15 I'm gonna read you guys a little bit about the palette before we get into it I'm just like ooh, let's dive right in I always forget to share info with you guys so I just had it pulled up let's see okay I'm gonna try to be all professional don't mind my hair you guys like I'm just getting with it today so yeah <laughs> all right it just took the description away. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Revolution Beauty YouTube. Okay, now let's play the video. Is it Monday? Am I being punked? Okay. So this is 10 pounds in the UK, $15 in the US. I did notice I had some UK subscribers. What's up, girl? Okay. So it's time to chill. The Forever Flawless Chilled Palette is here to effortlessly up your eyeshadow game. This green toned palette brings good vibes only with 18 earthy tones, matte shimmer, and pressed glitter powder. Not just pressed glitters, but pressed glitter powder. Um, shadows, there's no end to the amount of eye looks to be had. Infused with nourishing cannabis, Satavia seed oil, the powder shadows have strong buildable pigments. Ooh, I'm so excited. Use an eyeshadow brush to apply. Relax as a warm base. Apply cool. La 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 la. These are vegan and cruelty free, by the way. And I don't know if I'm crazy, but I swear this has some kind of scent to it to kind of make it smell like it's maybe, I mean, I don't know. To me, this has a scent to it that kind of smells a little bit like pot, but maybe I'm crazy. Not that I know what that smells like. Hey, I was a teenager once too. <laughs> So, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. You are getting 18 shadows in here. It looks like you get three glitters. And how many of these are mattes? One, two, three, four, five, six mattes maybe? And I love the names on these, you guys. I'm just going to read them to you really quickly. Then I will insert some swatches and go into a tutorial. If you are new here, the way I do my eye tutorials, I do one eye on camera, one eye off. Um... Also, I pick up the palette, show it to you guys, point to the shadow, and the shade names are always listed down below. It just kind of helps move things along. For the most part today, you guys, since we do have a lot of, well, a couple of new products to test out, um, and I do want to mention an item that I was sent, I'm just going to apply everything, and we will talk about everything at the end. So names, Hybrid Hoff Natural Goddess Leaf Haze, Dope Bud Mist, Plant Candyland Burn. This one, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Acapuloco. I never said when I was a teenager. Satavia Relax, Exhale, Cool, and Calm. So now we're going to get into it. But before we do, I'm going to go ahead and move my camera back here a little bit because I'm hitting the, the table's hitting. Now, hopefully, that will quit hitting my ring light because it's making the camera go doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and insert some swatches and get into it are the swatches now keeping it real because y'all know i always keep it real with you most of these are two layers 
Now the glitters, what I noticed with those is if you patted them in instead of rubbed them, they seem to do a lot better. They're very pretty though. Give you guys a little. And then here are the rest. Very, very pretty. All right, so let's get into it.
we're gonna finish these bottom bottoms of the ass. Now I know I look a little bit different. I had to go do something with my hair because y'all did not want y'all looking at my naps. My nizzy naps. <laughs> they are not cooperating today. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is take the shade natural and leaf. And I'm gonna work those down in the bottom lash line. We have natural and leaf. And while I'm doing this, just to keep this video short er than what it already is I'm gonna talk to you guys so the other day hang on didn't realize how hard that was to do when you're talking <laughs> disclaimer I'm not putting anybody out there y'all know you my babies and I would never want to say anything that would hurt anybody's feelings or rub anyone the wrong way but I feel like, I, I do feel like I need to say something. Um, when I do a video and put it out, it takes a lot of time. Like, from filming to, God, the prior, planning the video, setting everything up, all of the equipment, getting everything ready, to filming the video, that could take hours and hours. To the editing portion which takes a very long time very long time to go through all of the footage and then I have to go back and improve it and then when I put oh excuse me then it has to be exported which for us usually takes about an hour sometimes two hours and then um, it has to be uploaded to YouTube but prior to that I have to go back and proof everything you know, and make sure that we're happy with the video. Then it has to be uploaded to YouTube, which depending on the size of the video could take an hour, two hours. Sometimes it has taken from the time we've gone to bed until early that morning. That's a long time. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and then I'm just going in with the Santee eyeliner. It is the Ultra Soft Eyeliner in, I think, dark brown. So... So then I have to, once it gets uploaded to YouTube, what I do is I go and I create my thumbnails in another program that I use. And then after I create my thumbnails, I go into the YouTube Creator Studio and I finish the rest of the editing process, which includes like, you know, filling out that description box, which takes forever and a day. Just keep in mind, I'm not complaining. I love being on YouTube, you guys. I absolutely love it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Um, so after that, I mean, then you have to add in all your cards, your end screen, and all of that. I'm trying to think if I'm leaving anything out. Well, y'all know there's the cleanup, and that can be a nightmare in itself. <laughs> I'm just going into that lighter green leaf. And so, pretty much, it's a full-time job. That is why you'll notice when a lot of YouTubers get bigger, like way bigger, they usually quit their jobs. Because this is a full-time job in itself. So, what I wanted to say was, if I ever leave stuff out, or, you know, you're not satisfied with the content, I mean, and I want you all to be satisfied. I want you to be happy and... Abby, I love you guys, but I just, and I'm trying so hard to not piss anybody off, but you know, it's really hard not to sometimes. I just want you guys to understand that it is not as simple as I get back on here, you know, film a 30 minute or 30 minute segment that has to be edited back down to something that you want me to throw back in a video. It's not that simple, you guys. It's really not. So I just want to put that out there. And please, again, don't get upset. Like, I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything like that. I just want you guys to understand how much time it takes to film these videos. And so if I leave something out, I'm really sorry. But the best thing that I can tell you is, you know, 
you have to Google it or maybe I can post it for you on Instagram, but I can't take my video down or repost a new one because that takes a very long time. <laughs> so I just wanted, you know, you guys to understand that if I leave something out, I'm really sorry. Um, the thing with the items that I left out in one of the palette videos, I did that on purpose. Um, <clears throat> because most of us follow like trend mood and um, I know that a lot of you follow me on Instagram, so I've posted a lot in my stories. But yeah, my schedule now is jam-packed between my schedule for filming, my schedule for making all the extra time that I do, because as you guys know, I answer every single comment that I get right now. And as long as I can, I will continue to do that, but it takes a lot of time. I also spend a lot of my time researching um, products that I'm going to use and also constantly looking at new products to film with. Um, I spend the better part of my days working. <laughs> I mean, Nick can attest to that because he's always telling me, sweetheart, you work too much. You have to have time for yourself. And well, y'all, I'm kind of a workaholic. So, um, but yeah, I just, I wanted you guys to understand how long it takes to actually create so I can't, I can't just put up, you know, something that I miss. I'm really sorry, but I just hope you guys understand and are on the same page with me. Because like I said, guys, it's not that simple as just, oh, take it down and put it back up. I'm so sorry. Know that I love you. Okay, moving on to these lip swatches. Y'all, this black, whoo. I was saving this to do like kind of like a Halloween look, but like it wasn't going to be like a costume Halloween look. Um, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick in Shady Witch. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Um, so I think I'm going to try this out and save this lip pigment for another video because this just looks fun to me. So all I did was line my lips with a nude lip liner from, I think, LA Colors or LA Girl. All right, y'all, I need to focus because I've never put on black lipstick before. Excuse me. How do people do this so flawlessly? This is why I have the mirror here because I don't want you guys to see me mess up and then it look like crap. <laughs> this is hard. That's my fault, though, you guys, because I put that lip liner down and I probably shouldn't have. Okay, so I know I messed up over here, but I don't care. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. I'm going to go ahead and go in with some mascara real quick. When I come back, we're going to talk about all of the products. All right, you guys. So this is the final look that I've come up with. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, your girl is rocking a metallic black lipstick with just a little bit of highlighter on it, and I'm living for it. I know my mother is probably cringing right now. Hey, girl, hey. But I actually kind of like this. It's just something very different, very out of my comfort zone. And I'm glad I picked this up. This is, again, the Wet n Wild Mega Last Cat Suit Metallic Liquid Lipstick in Shady Witch. So there's that product. I want to start off with the main star of this video, which is the Revolution Flawless Chilled with uh, Cannabis Satavia Palette here. Now, you guys, honestly, I tried to film this eye look. I'm not even joking. Four times. The fourth time was the charm. Um, and as you can tell, I went ham in this. I started out trying to use glitter. And honestly, it's not the palette. The palette is beautiful. Now, I will tell you guys, a few of these shimmer shades are very, very soft. So what I did was I just dipped my finger in here so that you can see what I mean. They're very, very soft. But they do blend beautifully. Um, they swatch beautifully. They're gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Now, a couple of these green shadows. I'm just going to show you guys the shades I used on my eyes today. This is on my under eye. This is on the outer corner here. Um, this shade right here, this is called Satavia, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Like, no joke, this is the shade in the palette. Out of all these gorgeous, gorgeous greens, this Satavia shade right here, this right here on my lid, is the one I'm going to hit pan on. It is absolutely stunning. This shade here is on my brow bone here as highlight, and then this is also on my lower lash line as well. So I use the shades Plant, Calm, Cool, 
Relax, Latavia, Natural, and Leaf. Um, I also tried to go in with this shade here called Goddess. Now the glitters work beautifully on the eye. They wipe away really, really nicely, whereas a lot of glitters that I've tried in my time, they're very messy and they're very hard to take off. Um, I did not have a ton of problems with this glitter when I did apply it to the eye. I just wasn't feeling the look. Um, and it was me. I, I just, I guess I wasn't feeling as creative today as I thought, but I do really enjoy the way that this look turned out. I love it. I do. I just, I think that sometimes when we're not feeling as creative as we think we should be when we sit down to film, I think sometimes that's when we film our favorite looks. Now, I've never done anything like that where I've put like a lighter and like color out here on the outer corner and I love it. I really do. I hope that you guys can see that okay. I'm loving it. All right. So do I recommend this palette off of first impressions? Absolutely. I think it is a very fun palette to have in your collection, especially if you are a lover of green and just some neutral shades. I mean, you could do pops of color, you could do neutral. I mean, you've got several options here in this palette. If you love golds, neutral colors, and like I said, just beautiful pops of green color. Now, a few of these shades in the palette you do have to build up and work with, such as Candyland. I don't feel like that swatches very opaque right off the bat as you can see right here. So you would have to build that one up. The other shade, was it mist? No, mist swatch is okay. I think maybe it was just Candyland that I really noticed that you have to build up as far as shimmers go. Now, as far as mattes go, natural, like I was saying earlier, now this is two swipes here. Natural can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. You do have to build it up, but I mean, for $15 and you're getting 18 shades, girl, it is a very beautiful palette. All right, you guys. So I've actually had this makeup on for quite a little bit before I decided to film the outro, and it has held up pretty, pretty well. We're going to move into the foundation that I used. This is the Femme Couture Rosé All Day Foundation Infused with Rose Water. You do get 0.95 ounces. It does come with a pump. And I used mine in the shade Tan Deep. What I loved about this is it is a glass bottle, and then it has like this rose gold glass, or not glass, lid. <laughs> rose gold metal lid same um, detail here on the pump very very nice um, this shade is a my summer shade I don't know if you guys can tell it's a little bit too dark for me but I waited so long to use it just because of all the foundation releases that came out now I know Sally's Beauty Supply did sell this and the matching concealer um, I do not know if they still have these items I know that they still sell some of the Femme Couture but I did notice that a lot of this stuff was on clearance a while back so you will have to check that out um, they were very affordable. I know each one was under $10. And what I like about these is they're very, very, very lightweight on the face. Um, but yet they still give good coverage. I would say this gave me about a medium coverage. As you guys could see in the video, I put like three layers over here on my acne area. <laughs> yes, I did. But you know what? It didn't cake up. It doesn't feel heavy. Very, very nice. Both of them. Um, the concealer as well, I felt like gave me a medium coverage, honestly, because we are moving into the fall season. Right now, I will probably get more so use out of the concealer, and this will be something that I get more use of out of this in the summer. Um, they do have like a nice kind of satiny, little bit of dewy glow, um, but nothing too crazy if you're somebody that has, you know, a little bit of dry, or not dry skin, oily skin, excuse me, and you wanted to try something like this out that was lightweight. Um, I mean, I love it. Read it to, a little bit about it to you real quick. It says the perfect hybrid of skincare and makeup. Hydrating, buildable makeup glides on evenly while leaving the skin soft and supple with rose water and snow mushroom extract. This brightening, refreshing formula helps improve skin elasticity and locks in moisture to keep it fully hydrated. So that is what you are getting if you pick up the Femme Couture Rose All Day Foundation with rose water as well as the matching concealer. Moving on, I set my under eyes with 
the <laughs> Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder, you guys. Telling you again, I told you in another video in a couple of videos, I think. Sorry, but if you have not tested this out and you have large pores, this will smooth your pores. It does not look dry and cakey. Just go in with a light hand. How I use my uh, loose setting powders now is I dip my sponge in, I go like this on the back of my hand to get all the excess off, and then I just lightly go in and set, and it, it's not cakey at all. And y'all know I got some dry, temperamental, dehydrated skin. Moving along into the rest of the products, I went in with the Revolution Blusher Reloaded in Coral Dream. Now, you guys already know I love the one. I think it's Rose Kiss. This one, oh my god. You guys saw the swatch that I did? I can't get it open right now because of my nails. These are only $6, you guys, and you get quite a bit of product. Look how big that is. And they are super, super pigmented, so the best advice that I can give you, use a light hand. <laughs> they do last all day, by the way, as well. I set the rest of my face with my Too Faced Do You Loose Powder. It is the Translucent Radiant and Nude. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you're going to use this, use a light hand. It gives you a beautiful glow to the skin. But if you take your powder brush or whatever you're using to set your face and you don't tap off that excess, honey, you're going to look like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. So... <laughs> The highlighter that I used is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Peach Lights. Love this. I also use this in my inner corner as well as the center of my lips here. And then, oh, for mascara, I used the I Love Extreme Crazy Value Mascara by Essence. This has become a holy grail. I love this. And for bronzer today, I went in with the CYO Contour Kit in Girls on Contour in Medium. And I just used this shade here. It is a beautiful little bronzy shade that just works really well with my skin tone. All right, you guys. And lastly, for primers, I went in with Catrice, the Prime and Fine Poreless Wear Primer. Goodbye pores and also a freshen up. And that is all of the products that I used today. I highly recommend Revolution highlighters if you have not tried them before. They are amazing. They are creamy. They are blendable. And for me, they last all day long, as well as their blushes. I already told you guys I highly recommend this palette. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big old like. If you enjoyed today's palette, smash that like button as well. It really, really helps me out. Welcome again to all the new subscribers. Hey girl, hey, welcome to my YouTube family. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Tash. I hope that before you leave today, you will hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so YouTube can notify you each time I upload. To my ride or dies, hey girl, thank you once again for clicking on another video and taking the time out of your busy day to spend with me. I am going to film finally with one of those LA girl palettes that I picked up, so stay tuned for that video as well. Hope that you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.